Thank you very much, Raleigh, and uh, thank you to sign into this webinar. Uh, I hope you're having a great day. There's a lot of good information being presented, and I think everybody wants to try to, as I have on the screen here, improve your investing success because that's the name of the game. Uh, there are a lot of systems, a lot of uh, information out there now with the advent of the internet. You, you, you know, you try to want to. Everybody wants to get an advantage. Uh, as Raleigh said, I started trading options way back 20 years ago, over 20 years ago, 30 years ago almost, and uh, basically decided to take a early retirement package and go into the market full time. And and since then, I've you know, done very well. So I'm going to share some of that success with everybody, give everybody an opportunity to you know improve their uh, success in the market. So are you you're really satisfied with your investing result? If you're li listening or watching this webinar, I'm sure you're trying to uh, get uh, get better at what you're doing. Um, I think if you want to improve your, your investor returns, you need to have a method and be in control. Uh, there, are, there are a lot of things that uh, are out in the marketplace that uh, I think and sometimes are a lot of hype. People say they can do a lot for you and once they get your assets uh, they kind of you know forget about you and make sure they get their commissions and go on to the next person so if you want to really be successful you need to be in control you need to make the decisions but you need a method you need a strategy and a method to be successful like Raleigh said who is Ron Grinke yes I have a, a degree in mathematics I did a, you know, a lot of work uh, in, in software development. My early career was at General Mills. Uh, I did a lot of operation, operations research type development, so I optimized production distribution and warehouse layout. When I was at General Mills, so actually some warehouses in Chicago where they you know, produced Wheaties and Cheerios and layer cakes, uh, the whole warehouse, brand new warehouse layout was based on on uh, forklift uh, travel time, in and out uh, from stock coming in and then stock going out to uh, to stores. So totally revamped. Uh, took me about six months to convince the management that you know the old way that they did things <laughs> was the past. That was based kind of on on the way they did it, not theory. Uh, with a software program, I was able to really improve the efficiency uh, significantly, save General Mills millions of dollars. From there, I went into a software development as Sperry Univac. I participated in the Apollo 7 and 8 uh, lunar flight programs. I was in Houston on the Apollo 8 flight. That was the first lunar flight. That was the precursor to Apollo 11, uh, which was the uh, first lunar landing. Uh, so I basically uh, you know, wrote software and did a lot of mathematics on the communications for the spacecraft uh, uh, to make sure that nothing was lost. I mean, the key is at that time, you got to remember computers were strong, but you have more processing, maybe 10 times more processing on your iPhone than we had available uh, on the communication side. But we got the job done. And we had triple redundancy, by the way. So <laughs> everything was kind of, you know, in those days you said, well, we kind of flew by the seat of our pants. No, we did have triple redundancy. And the testing of that was, you know, took a lot of time. I also worked on some top secret communication protocols for, uh, for advanced graphics at the CIA and the Army Marine Corps. Again, way before satellite pictures. This is based on you know, the U-2 aircraft pictures uh, uh, and so forth. So from there, I went to uh, uh, Compton, and after uh, about 10 years, we were purchased by NCR. So while I was at NCR Compton, I invented the Compton Communications Networking System, uh, basically a, I'll call it a packet-based transmission in front of an uh, IBM mainframe. So we basically were there for you know 15 years before the internet became available and provided the same kind of you know I'll call it uh, internet routing as available on the internet now. I'm also one of 12 NCR laureates which is a an honor based on 
I'll call it significant development uh, and, and contribution to the company. As Raleigh said, I'm actually an author of five books, and they're all on stock and options investing, and I'm the author of the Visions Investing Tool Software, which is the basis for a new implementation, web-based at Wall Street Winning. Now, you also, as I said, need uh, need ways to improve. You also need way need to measure your result, and you have to find a way to improve your decisions that affect a better outcome. So you need to learn from your experience and not make the same mistakes and be able to adjust uh, those decisions. You need to find the right stocks to invest in and know when to make the investment. I've been working on this for 25 years, trying to put together, I'll call it software, internet search operations to find the best stocks and then algorithms to determine when to make the investment. And this is what I want to share with you uh, today because it has helped me and helped a lot of other people make a lot of money through my books and my vision software. So I say you can do that with winning signals. It uses mathematics and data analysis to improve uh, your investing success. And yes, you can do it. Uh, people say it gets to be too complicated. We've taken the complications out of it now and are doing it uh, basically with compute power in the cloud. And uh, so, yes, you can uh, do it and be very successful. What we've come up with is at Wall Street Winning, which is uh, really an implementation of all of my algorithms that I delivered as a PC program, two signals, a monthly signal. This is based on fundamental data analysis and called VTAM. VTAM is a technical analysis model. It's an algorithm. It uses a one-year time frame. And then the weekly sig signal, it also has a fundamental data analysis. And it's an advanced version of ETAM. We mine the data looking for short-term, about a week price movement and momentum. So uh, another level of processing on top of the data. And I will show you some of the outcomes and results. So what is the black box algorithm? It's a finite state machine. Uh, which is really a, it's a mathematical model. And what happens is, uh, you know, the, the, the state machine will cycle through these basic states. Anytime we're, we're uh, basically start out as a wait condition on a stock, we will determine when to buy and we'll be in a hold state. There may be points during the hold where it also, again, can signal a buy. This is done. People may be late to the party, so to say. They did not see the buy. Uh, and therefore, we're saying, OK, it's still OK to buy at that state. And then there is the sell process, sell at gain, sell at loss. And then we revert back to the wait state. So these are the states that the algorithm uh, goes through. It's, it, it's a computer program. It's, you know, it's like uh, uh, the system is only going to be in one state at a time, and it moves from state to state by a trigger. The trigger is the algorithm, uh, and we'll uh, show you how that is uh, how that takes place. So there's a transition. There is nothing based here on exactly number of days or what have you. It's all based on the processing of the stock data, and so it's uh, dynamic, and it's dynamic per stock. This is the, one of the issues that a lot of people get into. They have an algorithm, and they try to apply it to the whole world. Um, in all of my analysis, I have determined in all of my mathematical work that I've done is every stock has its own pattern. It has its own up and down cycle. It has its own volatility. And so therefore, uh, this finite state machine develops a model for every stock. That's very important because uh, it takes a lot of compute power to, uh, to keep that running, and I'll show you uh, what happens there every night. So the model basically will take a stock, and it'll process the data, and it'll determine the buy and sells uh, opportunities for that particular stock and tell you when to buy, when to sell. Uh, and the summary here. Uh, the last action here was a buy way to the right. You'll see kind of a uh, up slanted triangle. I'll show you what that is in a moment. But here in the uh, box, I'm showing you the last price, the number of wins and trades. So we had eight out of eight. 
The estimated annual return is 36%. We have a success rate uh, rating of 36. So we were 100% wins, no losses. And you can see if uh, you followed this particular pattern, you would have had a 41% gain uh, on a $10,000 uh, investment, would have returned 4,000. If you just did a buy and hold, you, you would have been down about $1,100 from the beginning of this chart to where it is today. So that would be a losing proposition, but with winning signals, you would have been able to generate about a 40% return uh, following, uh, following the signals. There are two main um, formulas that I've come up with over time that are, are used. Uh, I'll call it their fundamental stock price filters. One I call the buy limit. Uh, when I first started doing uh, this full time, um, I was getting into positions when the stock price was too high. I started to doing a lot of, I'll call it algorithm work, and came up first with this formula, which shows you that the buy limit you want to buy something at is a, I started out with a 52 week low plus one quarter, the 52 week high minus the low. So you can see that's a point of where you say if that's where the stock is right now over the last 52 weeks, then that should be a position for you to enter enter that uh, a position on that stock. And what happens is it keeps you out of stocks uh, that are uh, trading at their highs. Uh, there are systems that do our momentum trades. Yeah, that's fine. But uh, I know, for example, Investor Business Daily. If I uh, take the buy limit on, on their 50, uh, IBD 50, um, it'll show that you, you shouldn't get in any of them. And that's been my, um, I'll call it conservative nature uh, all of these years because this has been very successful. It kept me out of the dot-com bubble and it also kept me very uh, secure in the 2008-9 downturn. And I'll show you some recent examples of what the algorithm has done on our August 11th this year, market swoon there of about 10%. You'll see how the algorithm survived and, and came through with uh, flying colors. The second formula is a buy rank. This is used to compare one stock to another. Uh, the buy limit is actually a stock price. The buy rank is just a number. Uh, and if you look at this formula, it's a, it's a number that goes from a minus 30 to 10. The zero would be when the buy limit uh, is right at the uh, at the buy limit. Uh, so this is a, 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 a factor that's used to compare uh, one price stock uh, to another. So you you know have a way to compare apples to oranges. So when how do we determine when to buy and sell? This is uh, this is. A picture of again, another stock, this is eBay. So we have a, a one-year chart with the buy and sell. To the right, you'll notice uh, I outlined what I call the uh, my V. This is the Grinky V, and I'll show you how the algorithm, because we're in a wait state right now, if you look at the right-hand corner, we're in a wait. How is the system going to determine when to issue a buy? Let's blow up that box. What are the, what are the elements? We have the stock price going up and down. We have a 50-day average, which is that blue line. I think you can see that. That's the 50-day average. I've done a lot of work around the 50-day average. It has been very successful for me. And uh, part of this uh, algorithm is uses the 50-day average. I have something called the buy limit. See that red line? I showed you the formula for that. So that's the buy limit. That moves uh, continuously every day based on, based on prices. And then you have the Grinky V. Uh, this took me about three years to develop. I started out with just a buy limit and a 50-day moving average. Then I started looking at I need to determine uh, what the stock is doing over a, a longer period of time. This, uh, this Grinky V, my V funnel as I call it, it's a price trend and momentum funnel, is 50 days long, 50 trading days. And so I put together an, an algorithm uh, that looks at the stock price and direction, uses the 50-day moving average, the buy limit, and my uh, price trend and momentum funnel. And there is a, uh, a set of, uh, I'll call it equations and formulas that are used to process this data. And 
there are a bunch of variables that have a range. Uh, you notice F 0.25 to, to 0.50, the uh, bi-limit equation factor, we started out with 0.25 and now we have a range. So uh, we're processing every night all the stock prices for every stock and we're, we're running through this formula. We're taking F from 0.25 to 0.5 we're running a, on a range of 10 to 52 weeks. We're going to look at sell on gain of 1 to 20 percent, sell on loss of 1 to 20, and we have an optimum return signal of 71 to 100. So, so the processing takes about 10 minutes per stock using an Intel i7 processor. And this is the whole set of equations and formulas that I made available in my vision software on a PC. And yes, you can run the S&P 500 on a PC, but it takes the weekend. <laughs> it takes a lot of time. And that is an i7 running basically 100% compute bound, processing the data. Uh, so the implementation that we have now is in the cloud. So for 8,000 stocks, and we do it every night on all the stocks, takes, it would take about 60 days if you had one processor. We do it every night in about four hours with 350 servers. So we are throwing compute power at the job to basically provide all of the calculation for every, anyone on, uh, on the 8,000 stocks. So what are the results? Uh, okay, that's the technical analysis. That's the algorithm of when to buy and when to sell uh, because we have a sell on gain, sell on loss factor, which, which comes out automatically. The other uh, set of information that we're processing every night are fundamentals. So we will filter the 8,000 stocks. These are the main filters, market cap, revenue or sales, uh, volume of shares traded. We're looking at quarterly earnings. So we are updating every, every night whether or not a company reports. We're calculating the buy rank. So we're going to be able to look at any stock against another stock to rank them. Bear cash is a calculation that I've come up with. It's uh, any company's cash in the bank plus their investments minus long-term debt. We're using that to filter and to give you a way to be very conservative, uh, to make sure that you are only in companies that we think will stick around through market crashes or economic uh, difficulties like we've had over the last 10 years been very successful for that filter. Revenue growth, which I think is one of the very important factor together with, I'll call it uh, quarterly earnings. I think revenue growth will show what companies have, uh, I'll call it, probability of growing their stock price in the future if they're growing their revenue. It's a very, in my mind, and all the work I've done is a very key correlation between the two. And the final one is the stock price range. Where are we right now in its in this trading cycle? Well, here's my grandson. <laughs> Just thought, you know, he he looks kind of so innocent there, but <laughs> he like he's gonna get in my stuff. I just love this little guy. By the way, I have uh, five grandchildren. <laughs> he's the youngest. Uh, on the fundamentals, we have three classifications, conservative, moderate, aggressive. We basically, so there are people that want to be very conservative. I've been a very conservative investor um, and, you know, have basically taken these filters and have put them into a bunch of classes, modified, uh, I'll call it the, uh, the market cap, revenue sales in different, at different levels and have a code there, C1 to C5. C5 is considered the diamond. It's the best overall conservative, best overall. If you can find any C5s out of the 8,000, what, what, what the system says is these are very, I'll call it safe because of the fundamentals. So you can see you need a billion dollar market cap, at least a quarter, quarter million revenue, quarter billion, lots of Shares traded per day, you need four of four quarters positive earnings, and the other key is you need a revenue growth of 15% or higher. Those two will tell you whether or not it's a diamond, and they are difficult to find, they're out there, and we find them because we process all the stocks every night. 
Here's a view of our fundamentals that uh, take place. This is uh, Nike. Uh, it's a conservative one. And the reason it got to a one and not a three or four is the buy rank is negative. So it's, uh, we went back to the, uh, to the table here. The buy rank is a column there greater than minus 10, greater than minus eight. So it could be, if it would have been a minus seven, it would have been a C2. So it's a minus eight, so it's a C1. That's what ranked it as a conservative one, but these are very good fundamentals. If you look at you know, the elements here, you have market cap, a lot of volume, revenue growth, it's positive, 5.4%, $31 billion company. They have almost 5 billion bare cash in the bank, so they, they can withstand a, uh, a downturn in the market, a downturn in the industry, in their sector, et cetera. We have a buy limit of 118 and it closed at 131 on this particular day, which was uh, the 2nd of November. So this is a, a view of the fundamentals that are captured every night, uh, basically off the internet. There are many sources uh, for, for the data. The moderate uh, filter, basically we take bare cash and say that yeah, can be any. So those companies that don't become a C, they can become an M, one to five, if, they, if we ignore their bare cash, which suggests that their bare cash is probably negative. So here we'll say any. And here, for example, face, Facebook uh, is a moderate one, and that's because the buy rank uh, was greater than minus 10, excuse me, right here on the, the minus 15. Remember, C1, that was a minus 10. Here, it's greater than minus 15. And then the aggressive, we basically take bare cash and revenue growth and say, we'll allow that to be any. We will not look at the revenue growth. And what happens there, any company that has negative revenue growth then will become an aggressive uh, and has negative or, or zero bare cash becomes, becomes aggressive. So what we're doing is, giving you the ability to decide how much risk you want to want to add to your decision based on uh, based on this uh, uh, conservative moderate or aggressive type filter uh, for fundamental here we have a in fact the global brass this is today a buy today on November 18th uh, you see the last close is at 22 and negative Negative revenue growth, negative bear cash. So that makes it an aggressive, and the, I think the buy rank uh, where it is makes it a, a, a two. So the winning signal is uh, provided to basically do all the fundamental filtering, do the when to buy uh, algorithm. It's really a new age, and we want to let the computer work for you because that's what it's designed for. We want to put money in your pocket. We want to give you opportunities, or it provides opportunities to make excellent investing decisions. Here is a list, and I'll go to the website to, as part of this uh, webinar. But here's a list of my buy, buy, buy opportunities today, 1119. Here's the filter. I filtered on conservative. So here's a list of buy opportunities. Um, this is not all of them. This is just uh, the first part. And they're ranked by target annual return. So if you follow the vision, the signals for uh, Virgin America, 51%, uh, a success rating of four, four money bags. And we're saying you have a potential return of $1,800 in 36 days. And all of these are on a $10,000 investment. Uh, so this is the set of information that's provided every day, every morning on the website. Uh, after the processing of the full market fundamental search and running the black box algorithm uh, on all of the opportunities. So this is a, a, a beautiful list. You can now spend all your time looking at opportunities, knowing what the, uh, the, what the uh, filters have uh, I guess, you know, throwing out the, the, the bad eggs, so to say. So let's look at a, a, a buy signal. 
uh, a buy signal is this picture right here. Uh, you do get buy signals uh, as an email service for those stocks that you're tracking. And you can track uh, up to 50 or more if you want. Uh, so automatically uh, Dave has a in the problem. morning at 6 o'clock, you will get buy stuff. signals for those stocks that you want to watch. You get all of the opportunities at the website every day. So there might be some companies you like. And you say, show me all the time when they're ready to buy, when to sell. We have an example here of Amazon. Uh, success rating of 5. About $484 return in about six days. This is what we call a weekly. I'll show you what a weekly is. Uh, so this, yeah, this success rating of five. It's in most indexes. We show exactly what it's a member of. So it's a member of the 100, 500, the NASDAQ, the Fox 50, and it's a Fortune 500 company. So this thing is followed by a lot. So the, you know, and so the, you know, the stock price is, uh, is being uh, driven by a uh, and a potential return here of about six days average hold time uh, for this signal. The money bags, there's five of them. When it's a five, we say that has super potential for generating that return, and then it goes down to excellent, good, okay. One money bag is marginal. Uh, if there are no other ones available, then one would show up. But they're always, I think, in most cases. Every day you'll have lots of uh, three, fours, and then some fives. I guess I'm going the wrong way, sorry. Uh, again, here's the, the fundamentals. If I click on the profile on that box, I can look at the, what any company does. So there's information of, okay, there's, you know, we don't want to invest in stock symbols. You want to invest in real companies. So that gives you that ability to find out what this company does. Here is the, the buy opportunity on November 6th. This is the chart. And what is presented on the chart is the range that we expect this stock to follow. Uh, we're going to sell when it gets above 663 and set a stop loss at 649. So on the upside, we're going to be out when it's above. On the low, downside, we're going to be out if it falls below 649. This is based on what the uh, algorithm has found. The winning signal, let's look at the sell. Uh, well, there's an investor alert. We need to be considered. So I want everybody to stick around. I want to show you what that is. So we did a sell. This is what the sell chart would look like. When you're done, way to the right, you see the sell at the gain. Uh, and you can go look back in time of how the algorithm picked up uh, about a 36% return here uh, on a 12-month basis, which is for a stock that's going down. If you look at this price in the last year, it has deteriorated from 30 to below 20, but you're able to generate a 36% return by uh, getting in and out at, at the right time. So that's the when, when to buy, when to sell. Uh, a lot of people have said, well, what happens if the stock price keeps going down? Here we have Walmart. Interesting example because the, the algorithm could not find any period of time here that suggests you should do a buy. So here we have zero trades for a 12-month period until Walmart shows a positive you know, consolidation. It almost did there in September, and then it had a big fall again in October. Uh, it's still waiting to uh, generate a buy signal. Same thing with 3M. Big companies, right? You think, oh, it should have, we should have got in here in May when it started going up. But the algorithm de you know, determined that not enough uptime, not enough, not enough momentum going forward, and the thing kept going down. Not until here now in October. And I also want to point out, look at the big August swoon there. That we, uh, you know, the market really took a, took a bath in a couple of days. Uh, so the algorithm wasn't in. You weren't in this stock. Not until here in October now it said buy when it detected the uh, what was happening in the market and in 3M. So now we're already going on the upsides. We've got a significant gain here already, about 11%. Uh, so as we go forward in time, hopefully uh, this will be a very successful trade. Here we have Cisco. Here's a stock going nowhere. 
It's kind of flat for 12 months at 27. And it's currently at 27. But there was uh, two periods of time kind of in the middle. There was a buy issued and a sell. And now another buy here uh, at the uh, beginning of, of October. And we were close to the green line at the top, which is the sell, sell trigger. Uh, again, in, those, the, the, in the red line at the bottom, those two are converging at some point. The algorithm will take you out of the stock. Uh, hopefully, it'll be at a, at a positive result. It's trying to always give you a positive result. Another stock going nowhere, Coca-Cola. Very flat, but an opportunity here. There were two trades, 13% uh, return, uh, gleaning out here just recently, uh, getting that high there at the middle end of October. Here's the stock price going up, JP Morgan, 22% return. Another one going up on Disney. Uh, notice the sell there right before the August collapse. Out at the right time, okay? And then getting back in now in October. So you can see the algorithm really did very well through this whole August, now through October, and getting back in, picking up now a nice uh, another, another return. So for that, we can jump for joy. Here's some dolphins out behind my house, jumping in the bay. Isn't this beautiful? The weekly signal, remember this, we're talking about monthly. The weekly, we're trying to look for short-term trades. Monthly, two to three months. Weekly, one week, two weeks. Now here's an example of uh, the algorithm for weekly trade. This is... Uh, First of all, this is the monthly. I want to show you the monthly first. 34% return using the monthly signal. And here's 128% return using the weekly signal. So we're in and out in a very short period of time. Four out of five successful trades. Uh, so the algorithm is uh, getting in and then getting out immediately within a very short period of time to pick up these uh, upswings as uh, as the stock trades going forward so we're back right here with a buy and once it gets above 42.24 uh, it will make an exit at the appropriate time here is the fundamentals for and the uh, fundamental page for uh, for this signal for this buy on this weekly again you have the it's an aggressive five it has negative revenue growth, negative bare cash. That's what makes it aggressive. But the other numbers are fairly good, okay, in the sense of uh, its market cap and uh, volume and so forth. Winning signal, you know, there's a way you can take advantage. For example, this volatility in crude oil right now. You can make money with the bull bear ETFs. Uh, here's an example with Dig Dug. The system will automatically tell you, okay, on the, on the upside, when to get in and get out, and on the downside. So here you have dig about 23% in 69 days, dug 32% in 98 days. So, you know, you can, you know, you can just let the system tell you when to sell the bear side and when to buy the, the bull side automatically, back and forth. You don't have to do anything other than track these two. Uh, these two uh, ETFs and follow the signals. The key is follow the signals. Don't second guess anything because uh, the system will automatically go from one to the other. And you can see you can have very good success. I mean, if you can get 20, 20, 30 percent in you know 60, 80 days, come on now. That's uh, that's that's very nice. A lot of people don't do that in two years. So there's a big opportunity here. For example, to allow winning signals to get you this and oil. Whoops. Here's ERX. It's another oil service. This is uh, the, 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 the triple levered. Look what it does. 150% if you annualize it. 30% in 70 days. Again, this is the bull bear. And uh, if you kind of look at the chart, we're in on the bull and out on the bear. When the, when the sell occurs on the on the bull, we get in on the bear. So it just oscillates back and forth automatically. Now people say, well, you got to find all these nice stocks that allow you to be successful. 
That's not true. You can take money to the bank from many of the Dow 30 members with either monthly or weekly signals, trying to get people to realize there's opportunity in the Dow 30, significant opportunity if you know when to get in and when to get out. You already feel that the Dow 30 stocks, big Dow industrials are going to be around. You don't have to maybe worry too much about the fundamentals, maybe except for a couple of them. And so therefore, you should be able to take that list and process it and, and really do well. I think you will do very well if you just even look at the Dow 30. It should pay for your subscription. And you can take your friends and your best friends out to dinner or whatever many times because it's a significant opportunity. And let me show you. Here's Microsoft. Here's the results for the monthly. Basically, two trades, 41% return because it was in and out at the right time, and then about a 54%, 95% return on the weeklies, 95% out of Microsoft, by knowing when to sell or buy and sell at the right time. Now, I like weeklies because I think you have less risk. You have much shorter ownership periods. So you're able to sit on the sideline uh, three, four days, and then you can buy, and then you'll sell in three, four days and sit on the sideline. So you're not taking the risk of having a, a big significant drop in a stock like the August 11th. And if you look at that up on the top here, Microsoft, lo and behold, the algorithm was not in when we had this big drop. Okay, it got out here and now it was waiting. This is downtrend, it started to get some uptrend. Surprise it didn't fire off here, it was close, but bingo. Then it fired off here, and now we had to sell way up here. Why did it sell? There was a downtrend. I mean, look at it went down, you know, a dollar and a half. I mean, it detected the fact that this, take this gain to the bank. Don't get greedy. There will be more opportunities in Microsoft down the road. So you want to take, take your profit to the bank. Same thing for Boeing. 30% monthly, 83% weekly. Uh... And it's in a buy situation right now on the monthly. And we had a buy on the fourth on this chart down here on the weekly. Again, this is four out of four successful returns. Uh, so we have 100% win rate and 17% uh, in 70, 70 days. GE, another big industrial. Opportunity to do very well, take significant gain to the bank, big Dow industrial stocks. So you don't have to find these high risk you know, opportunities that these people say are out there in the market, IPOs and so forth. There are companies right in front of us in the Dow 30 that you can do very well with every day of the week. And you can also track and trade the market index ETFs. And I say take money to the bank no matter what the market does. Uh, again, the winning signal algorithm tells you when to move from bull to bear or bear to bull. So if you say, I don't like individual stocks, I want to use more averages to be more diversified, well, you can take the indexes. Take QLD, QID. QLD is 2x, the Q is bull, and QID is 2x, the bear. Uh, again. It will oscillate back and forth between the two, giving you when to buy, when to sell. 87% you know, annualized on QLD, 36 on the QID. Uh, you can look at the dial the same way. Uh, do very well just by tracking these indexes um, and letting the system tell you when to buy and sell on the bear or the bull side. So big opportunity for, for being that. Alert. This is part of the alert. Be aware of economic cycles. Uh, there are some things happening that I want to make you aware of, and I call it this the investor alert. Uh, I created this chart in 2002 in my first book, and I published it at that time. I, it went through uh, the years 2019 or 2020. So, uh, in my, I have up this chart. This chart basically, if you stand back, is uh, the, an economic cycle for the last uh, 
you know, 120 years, starting in 1911. In fact, uh, the start chart uh, couldn't go back, way back to 1850, uh, but I didn't think that was important at this point. If you look at some of the dates in here of uh, the market uh, bottoms there at sea, when you had panics and very difficult times, uh, 1929, 48, 2002, remember that's the dot-com bubble, 1999 to 2002, we had a significant drop. Uh, we had a drop from 2007 to 2012. Um, remember, that's, you know, 2008 and 9. We got a turnaround in 2012. We're up 13, 14, 15, 16 to 19, suggesting we are staring at a significant economic uh, calamity, if you want to call it that. What's going to cause it? <laughs> uh, who knows what's going to cause it? I have, you know, it's hard to tell what can cause. There are world events right now that may be part of it. There may be, it may be Fed action. It could be a combination of things. But this chart has been spot on so many times that uh, uh, I use it to kind of condition myself, saying, okay, beware to maybe take some money off the table here starting next year because if this starts to occur, I want to protect myself. You've got to be maybe very conservative and plan for this significant drop in the next you know, three years from 16 to 19 because this thing has been too accurate in the past. This is about a 21-year cycle uh, that these, I'll call it this kind of M on a slant, goes through. So we're, we're at that lower, the right leg of that cycle. What about the near term? Uh, well, I did an outlook here just today at 12.30, and this is what my outlook says. We're uh, going to have maybe a, a Christmas rally going into December, and then we're going to have uh, a January swoon. We're going to start out nice in January, but then by the end of January, we're going to be below where we are today. Uh, could be the impact of Fed action. I don't know. But this, to me, says be aware, uh, take your profits to the bank in December, and be cautious going into January. On some of the charts or some of the panels, the fundamentals, I think you maybe saw an option signal. Yes, there we do have options. I want to show you that uh, momentarily. Um, and then there are also two key variables that you need to look at. And a previous presenter talked about them, the win rate and risk-reward ratio. I've done a lot of work on this. Uh, for example, you'd really need to have a, 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 a risk-reward ratio, I'm saying about 1.5 to 1, and we want a win, win rate of about 70%. To really be successful for that, you can probably double your money every three years. Uh, and at one and a half to one, you have a break even have a win rate of 40%. So you don't need this 80% win rate to be successful. You can have a lower win, win rate as long as you have your risk reward, which is percent wins when you win, the percent that you win versus the percent that you lose. Uh, the keys to success, uh, the system has produced this over time. We're in the 80% for the win rate, and our win ratio is at or a little bit above the goal. The target is one and a half. So I think we're, you know, we're, we're on target uh, uh, for those uh, statistics. Let me take you to the website. Oops, sorry, folks. Go to Wall Street running here. Okay, our website basically has a bunch of tabs at the top. I am currently in my hot list. I want to we'll back up here to uh, uh, my signals. So my hot list is what I'm tracking. So these are the 
basically the positions I'm tracking. I have room for 50. And right below that, I have my buy opportunities for the day. So these are all the buys, and then I can filter that. These are these are all of them. So if I go down here, you see all these four money bags and significant uh, returns. Target of 300%. Uh, hot list A, it's an aggressive. I can filter this, for example. Let me show you just conservative trades. So these are all the conservative companies. They've passed those filters. And, for example, I can show you monthly which are your two to three month uh, type uh, opportunities and so here's the list of companies that are opportunities right now today to buy uh, and here's the su success rating in those uh, in those companies uh, for example let's take a look at like Celgene okay so here's Celgene's buy it's a conservative three the signal says uh, if you buy at 115.78, which is the signal kind of buy price, sell above 123. Uh, so this was yesterday's close. Here is the current data. It opened at 116. It's currently at 114. Uh, here are the quarterly earnings, 304 positive. That positive revenue growth, 17%. That's positive bear cash. Uh, and a buy, buy rank of two. Remember, I like a buy rank between five and minus five. So this fills, fits all those parameters. Uh, let's take a look at the chart. So here's the monthly chart. We've had three out of three trades successful, and we're now sitting over here uh, looking at this now opportunity. Uh, so the last successful trade, we got in here and got out came back down now you know it's planning to exit at 123 or above so this is what the algorithm has done suggesting now okay you're going to be able to uh, uh, achieve that particular return back to the fundamental page here so that's you know about a seven percent on the upside options here is the option signal if you're interested in options, then you might want to consider, okay, if you buy CL Celgene, you could sell a call, December 18 call, strike price at 125, get about 85 cents. You're adding uh, about 7% if it expires, almost 1% additional return, and you have a 10% return if you get called out at 20, 125. Our sell Trigger is 123. So you can see this is a, uh, you know, related to the strike price of what option, uh, you know, the option signal being suggested expires in 30 days. And here is the probability of that being assigned 20% probability that Celgene will get to 125 in 30 days. Then there's a put, which looks very nice. Okay, when I look at the put, if you sell a $110 strike, somebody's willing to give you $2.58 right now, that would be about a 2.3% return in, in 30 days, and it has a probability of about 8% of being assigned. So in your mind, you might say, why don't I just sell this put, not even buy the stock right now? Sell this put, take $2.58 per share to the bank, and now just wait, see if this stock uh gets down to 110 if it gets down to 110 i can you know, i'll buy it at 110 i'm not buying it at the current price so i am reducing my risk reducing my entry point if this stock goes down and if it doesn't get there i have earned uh two point you know three percent in 30 days all you got to do is annualize that you know multiply that about by 12 and you can see you have about a 25 percent return if you did that 12 times so a very neat example of how you might look at using options. Uh, but the key is this was made available because the system said this is a buy opportunity on fundamentals and on the trigger. And it's suggesting here is uh, call it the stock range that we're expecting uh, uh, Celgene to be in. 
There's also a bar here. It's a 25 week signal range. And look at the upside potential. It says, okay, 104 to 139. So there is upside room for this stock to get to 125. We're not we're not trading at the high end of the 25 week range. We're trading at the one, you know, in the lower one third. So uh, great indication on the signal. So that's what the option looks like. Profile, I don't, you know, that's just who who CC gel in, and then I showed you the chart. So so this is the data for Celgene. Uh, we can look at uh, any of these buys on this list the same way. You can then, I mean, you can filter this by APR. We can uh, or sort it, I should say. I can filter it here and show. Okay, show me all the Dow 30 opportunities today no results there were no dow 30s today what a, okay what about the s p 500 ah okay so all of these are s p 500 stocks they're all in a buy today and you can look at the both the return expected annual return and the success rating so the one at the top o'reilly automotive has had uh, you know the best success in the past and you can get about a 16 percent return. Remember, all of these uh, potential returns are based on a $10,000 investment. So 16 would be a 16% in 61 days and so forth. Very significant opportunity. The data and, uh, is presented you know, in a way that you can analyze this very quickly. You don't have to run to any other websites. You can look at all the fundamentals. You can look at the chart. You can look at the returns. Uh, uh, and Anything I have on my hot list, in other words, if I if I buy this position, sell gene, what I do is I click here, add it to my hot list, bingo, it'll show up here. Now it's going to be tracked. Sell gene will now be tracked by the system. Now if I did the buy, I will get the sell at the right time, and it'll stay here until I decide I no longer want to watch sell gene. So I'm watching all of these stocks. You see, I got Microsoft in here, Disney, Cisco, Boeing, Apple. Um, I'm not necessarily in all of these, but I like to see the, I'll call it the signals, the buy sell signals for this group because uh, I do a lot, a lot of investing. Uh, and you see, I got a lot of the indexes. The up and down indexes are very successful, can generate a lot of profit. TQQ is the triple Q's up, S is the triple Q's down. I found a lot of opportunities there. Uh, financials, FAS, FAZ. Significant up down dig and dug, which is 2x oil service, UCO, SCO, which is oil, 2x oil. Very big opportunity to basically, as oil has moved up and down 40 to 45, back to 40, uh, in and out on the ups, on the bear, on the bull, and on the bear. So that's what's on that and, uh, uh, on the opportunity page. We look at performance reports. So we talked a little bit about the uh, win rate, and uh, here's my hot list. Here's the win rate, 87%. Risk reward of one point, at least 1.5. What does that mean? That means when I win, I get about a 12% gain. When I lose, I lose about 7%. So that's just the, the dividing this. The win rate is wins divided by the total, 87%. In my hot list, I have 31 in a wait state, one buy, one sell, and 13 basically active in a hold. So you can see out of those 50 stocks, they're looking, waiting for 31 to trigger a buy. Same thing, you can look at the dial 30, 15 are in wait, holding 15. Here's the win rate, 87, 1.6. The Fox 50, this is the Fox News Network. They have really a nice list. Uh, 27 in a way, 22 in a hold. One buy today on the Fox 50. Here is the return for the year, 31%. Let me point that out up here. We have my hot list, should be able to do 54%. The Dow 30, 30% by following those signals. And the Dow 30 stocks, NASDAQ, the S&P 100, the S&P 500, not a lot of difference here, a lot more stocks. Performance wise, you know, you don't need 500 stocks. You can do very well with 100 or with 30. 
this business of, you know, trying to manage, uh, you know, 50, 60 positions, uh, I don't think adds any value. You get, you know, takes a lot of time. Uh, so you should maybe narrow your scope. We go all the way down. Here is the conservative list. 81%, 1.9 on the risk reward. Moderate, a little bit higher return. Uh, 84 and 1.78. So this is going down a little bit, but this number is a little higher. And on the aggressive, 35%. You can see, so the percent return on those goes up as you <laughs> expose yourself to more risk. The opportunity is there and, you know, Right now, you're able to generate a, a higher return. And then the unlimited guys, this is where we ignore fundamentals. On the rest of the crowd, <laughs> look at there's a thousand here and there's 500 in the whole state. There's a lot of companies that fall into the unlimited. Right, there's big opportunities there, but there can be some that take you to zero and some that double your money. So I don't, you know, it's a matter of uh, how much risk you can tolerate, whether that's a good idea. So that is what's available on the website. A lot of information We're geared to provide you with opportunities to be very successful. What does this cost? Wall Street winning, we have a number of little packages here. Uh, the basic package is $99 a month. Uh, and we move up the scale based on uh, what you use or what you want, what you need at the website. So. Basically, you get all the opportunities every night. You have uh, room for 10 in your hot list. There are four kind of preloaded hot lists that you can, that are basically uh, put together uh, by Wall Street winning. They're, they're basically a computer managed. Uh, second level options are added. Third level, you get weeklies. Uh, weekly signals are, provide big opportunity. We suggest that, you know, because there are times when you can, you know, you have three losses in a row before you have a nice win, some people can't stomach the, the, uh, uh, the loss. So we're saying you got to have an investment, uh, you know, uh, portfolio, you know, of, of, of significant value or enough value to be able to weather the storm, so to say. And then as you go up to each uh, value, it's the number of stocks you want to track. The more you track, the more opportunity you're tracking, the more opportunity you're investing in more positions, the more money you're making. Therefore, we feel that uh, that's where the, uh, the system is going to recover the cost of, of providing all that information to you every day. That concludes this part of the presentation. Let me downsize that, go back to here. Uh, So wanting to help you become a winner, uh, got a couple offers there. I have a free book, and these links and stuff will be available uh, after the after the webinar. So I have a free book for you, uh, update to my uh, show me basically show me the trade, my latest book. Uh, we'll give you a free ebook. I want to thank you for uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, there's also an offer that will be Provided, uh, if you saw the link in my page, let me back up here. Uh, this economic outlook. Again, this is another another link where I discuss what I think is happening going into next year, what you need to be uh, con concerned about. And so uh, you can get that, again, free at this link. So I'm willing to share some of this information for you. Uh, and hopefully it can improve uh, your investment success. All right. Well, that's terrific, Ron. And uh, we have had some questions come up that uh, yeah. I've recorded here. So why don't we just go right to the questions? Very good. All right. So one question that just uh, came up um, was, you know, in looking at the various packages that you have, is there a trial version of this? Well, it's a, you know, it's a 30 day money back guarantee. So <laughs> the trial is if you don't, you don't like what you get, you can just do a refund. 
Okay. It's <laughs> <Fair, laughs> the easiest way to process anything. I mean, because you start getting into all of these, well, extend my trial, do this, do that. We decided that, uh, you know, I think very quickly within two to three weeks, the person will be able to generate a couple thousand dollar per profitable trade that the $99 a month is immaterial. Sure. Another oh. question that came up, and I think it's worth more than ninety nine dollars. It's worth probably a couple thousand a month. Is my my feeling. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Another question that came up a little bit earlier on, and I think you addressed it, but I want to ask it again. Uh, Earl said, "Hey, will this work for ETFs like QQQ and DIA?" Yes, I think I covered that. Uh, both the bull and the bear side of those guys, very successful opportunities. Uh, I use it a lot. We have a lot of members that have done very well in this kind of choppy market where you got in at the, you know, got in on the downside at the right time and then got out and then got back in on the upside. So QID, QLD has been very successful. That's why I showed them. Just like the oil. <laughs> the bull and the bear on the oil is opportunity galore. It's just you got to, you know, you got to follow the signals. Something else that uh, was asked here was uh, there are several questions that came in saying, hey, can this work on futures and currencies and day trading? Well, uh, <laughs> there's all kinds of opportunity. I know day trading, we're doing weekly. <laughs> and I said to the fellows, you know, we can do day trading. All it takes is some more programming. <laughs> We can apply the algorithms to day trading. It's just a matter of, I'll call it development and testing and verification. Uh, I don't want to give anybody anything that, you know, gets them in a tough position. I want to, you know, I've verified all of this stuff over a long time. And that's, that's all part of the key to success is it, it you know, it works. <laughs> Another question that came in was, um... TJ asked the question, hey, why is it called a Cedric chart, uh, that investor alert? <laughs> well, I, that's, uh, that's a chart that I, uh, I gleaned from uh, a piece of information when I wrote my first book that my sister gave me. And she, had that, uh, she got that information in 1952. It was called a Cedric chart. It was published. <laughs> Cedric Adams in Minneapolis had a, had a column. And he talked about the stock market and he said, you know, here is something everybody should look at because it it's, has predicted what's happened. <laughs> so I exactly. basically took that chart, reverse engineered it, did all the, the series analysis mathematically on it and extended it through where now I have it to, what, 2035 or whatever, okay? And the okay. thing is, that chart has been so accurate, it's been so on. Sure, it's a, you know, it's a 21-year cycle, but... I'm saying is beware, okay? It's been right too many times. <laughs> sure. And I know that another question from TJ here was, uh, do your option signals use Black Shoals? No. The option signals use an algorithm I developed for probability of assignment. Okay, so that's the key to the whole thing is <laughs> looking at uh, what is the probability that you're going to get assigned that put? Okay, you want that low if you don't really, really want to buy the stock. As long as you're getting a a return that is acceptable. And the example I showed you that two percent in you know two point three percent in thirty days. Now that is a significant return on a put with an eight percent probability of assignment. It's hard to find that sort of stuff. Okay, it takes a lot of I'll call it mining, data mining, <laughs> to find that. And that's what we're doing. You know. Every night, every well, every day on the options, as the as the option chains, you know, that, that changes every millisecond, just about right. <laughs> so when you press the button, you get you get the you get the price right now, and you press the button, it it searches the current chain. It might be five minutes old, but it's not two days old. Let's put it that way. So Brad asked a question. He said, "Hey Ron, can the system be used to find good shorting candidates as well?" Right. So when it says uh, sell, <laughs> you <laughs> you buy. You you basically sell short. <laughs> yes. You sell short when we when we issue the sell signal at the gain. Okay. 
you double up. You sell your position and then sell a bunch short because the motion is down, okay? <laughs> we're, we're, we're looking. We've had a lot of people have said that, Ron, you got to put shorts in there. I says, yeah, I'm working on that. But, you know, again, don't want to do it unless it's very successful. So it takes a lot of time and, and trading and testing to verify that uh, what we're doing, uh, you know, will provide the right result. So, yes, that is possible. Uh, already put it in the chart. It's not, it has not been, I'll call it, released. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. And let's see, there was, um, let me see here, just one more question here. Uh, let me see. Scott says, will Wall Street winning still work during the predicted drop by the Cedric chart? From 2016 to 2019. Right, because we're going to be in, in the inverses on a lot of stocks. And there are short term, there always are short term trade opportunities on weeklies. Uh, plus, the system will, you, you know, right, there might, might, not, might not be a lot of buys because I showed some of those, you know, Walmarts and those, the algorithm will just keep you out until it finds something that looks like it's going to be successful. So you might be in cash and a lot of asset, which is the right thing, until it finds an opportunity, unless you're tracking the inverses of ETFs, and the other say you could short, well, yeah, you could short, but um, not there yet on the short. So I suggest the inverses. Sure. All the index inverses will trigger automatically. The system will tell you, get in the inverse when, and it'll stay there until the, the market turns around. So. Uh, Significant opportunity on the inverse side. I've proven that over, especially on you know gold and silver and oil and natural gas. Uh, there is so much opportunity there that people just don't realize it on on the on the on the bull and the bear. Wow. Well, I tell you what, that's terrific. And uh, you know, once again, Ron, I really do want to thank you for that terrific presentation. You know, on how you You're use your you know your technology to scan stocks that represent these high probability conservative uh, investment opportunities i mean right. i think we all can relate to the key fundamental criteria that you like you know market cap revenues bear cash positive earnings revenue growth the the thing that's always been tough for people that look at fundamentals is just it's kind of hard to sift through thousands of stocks and and obviously you've come up with a great way to do that uh, with your tool I also like right. that uh, offer that you've made to our members, you know, where they can go ahead and get your uh, your free book, Show Me the Trade, as well as the economic outlook. And also the fact that you have, I encourage everybody to take advantage of and look at the variety of services that uh, Ron has available to you. And as he said, go ahead and try it out. And for some reason it doesn't work for you. Well, you know, you can get a refund in the first 30 days. You know, that's right. that's not why we want to get into something. But I, I just really appreciate, you know, everything that you've done for us and the time that you've taken to share your tool with us, Ron. Very good. Thank All you, everybody. Right. Have a great day. And uh, my grand said, said there, you know, <laughs> thanks for your attention. All right. Okie doke. All right, folks. Well, once again, I just do appreciate uh, uh, Ron Gronke coming in here. And I will say that uh, 